the amount of phaco energy delivered in an eye affects the corneal endothelial cells so the goal is to use just enough ultrasound how to use just enough ultrasound we can make use of mechanical division like the technique of divide and conquer where we divide the lens into quadrants or the technique of chopping where we chop we divide the lens into small pieces this is useful in hard nuclei this is useful in less hard nuclei the second is to use high vacuum high vacuum in the during the off period means that we are making use of vacuum to aspirate flow the material into the tip to the outside but keep in mind surge if you use the high vacuum then you get to increase the bottle height the second the third is to use a different FICO tip this is the standard tip with an outer diameter of 1.1 inner cavity diameter 1.9 sorry the inner is 0.9 we can use micro tip outer diameter 0.9 inner diameter 0.6 micro tip has a small incision can be applied through a small incision but it has a less holding force for the same power settings also the amount of lens material removed over time is less so we can go for large tip size like the flare tip you can see here a wide large opening of the tip of the needle you can see here a standard tip is introduced into the widened flare tip or we can use a mega tip a large opening at the end the difference between the standard tip and the mega tip is the standard tip the effect of fragmentation occurs opposite the metal part here but not opposite the lumen in the mega tip we get a wide opening so we get a surface area here a large surface area to get more effect the same applied for this third type which is the cupra tip so all these tips have the characteristic of being large tip with large opening allowing holding and removing larger bits of material it focuses the ultrasound energy into a more concentrated area so emulsification occurs inside the tip not just at the tip this will get that tips has high efficiency and use less ultrasound time this is especially important for hard nuclei again we can change the shape of the tip by using Kelman tip here the standard tip the effect is only opposite the metal part if you bend this metal part then you get a wider surface area to get the FACO effect you get regular or Kelman and recently we get one of the machines have this technology just adding more movement not only the regular forward and backward movement of the ultrasound but a rotatory movement along the axis of the needle this rotatory movement can be to the side half degree to each side or one degree or two degrees if we apply this with the use of a Kelman tip you get a wider effect this is seen in the new sonic hand piece of Alcon this is the ultrasound the regular and the rotatory side to side movement is in a small sh rate the we can use pulses or bursts and not continuous then we deliver less ultrasound and lastly we can modify the ultrasound by changing the duty cycle what's meant by changing the duty cycle let's have some definitions the frequency means the number of pulses per second the duty cycle is the time during which power is on as a percentage of the cycle time what is the cycle time the cycle time is the duration of pulse 
and the duration of the interval between one pulse and the next next pulse so it's the on part and the off part this is the cycle time traditionally we have a duty cycle 50 percent let's see that two pulses per second means one second is divided into two parts in one part we have half on half off four pulses per second means we divide the second into four parts and each quadrant we divide it into half on half off so all the time the on period is 50 percent of the duty cycle or the cycle time so if we have two pulses per second, if you have four pulses per second, if you have ten pulses per second, each time you divide the second into two or four or ten parts, and each part again is divided 50% on, 50% off. So at the end, the whole second, half of the second, we get an ultrasound, and the second half we get no ultrasound so it makes no change what doesn't matter how many pulses but all the time you have 50 percent of the second ultrasound and 50 percent of the second no ultrasound changing the duty cycle here this is the regular cycle traditional cycle 50 percent on of the whole cycle we some of the new machines you can shorten this on time like in this example 20 percent on and 80 percent off so the duty cycle here is 20 percent duty cycle so as you can see both the upper row and the lower row we get four pulses per second but here we the four pulses 50 percent of the time you get ultrasound but here only 20 percent of the second you have an ultrasound again this is two pulses per second in the upper row and in the lower row in the upper row 50 percent of each interval is on so the duty cycle is 50 percent but in the lower row you can see the on period is 100 and the off period is 400 so you get a duty cycle of 20 percent 20 percent of the time you get ultrasound but the 80 percent is an off so by changing this you can change or reduce the amount of ultrasound so you can change the amount of ultrasound by using mechanical part like division or shopping by using high vacuum to mechanically remove the material by changing the tip to more efficiently apply the ultrasound by using pulses or bursts but not continuous or by modifying the ultrasound duty cycle in some of the new machines the last point I want to talk about is called FICO here in traditional pulse you can increase the number of pulses maximum to 20 pulses per second and in the traditional burst mode you can shorten the burst width maximum to 30 milliseconds this is the traditional machines in the cold FICO we can have a very high pulse rates which can be achieved with on and off times as short as 4 milliseconds so this give an effective pulse rate of 125 pulses per second as we have each cycle 8 milliseconds 4 on 4 off this is a hyper pulse this is the continuous pulse mode this is four pulses per second so as you can see the on period is 125 milliseconds the off is 125 milliseconds in the hyper pulse 
you have a very short pulses on very short pulses off so you get a total reduction of the amount of ultrasound again when you have pulses all the time ultrasound all the time the heat will build up very much if you have pulses then you have some time for cooling but uh, the cooling effect or the decay of the pulse is gradual so maybe you don't have m enough time for cooling in the hyper pulse mode you get an abrupt end of the pulses and enough time for cooling so this way of delivering energy prevents heat from building up at the tip so as there is no heat building up we can use tip needle without sleeve this make us can make smaller incisions going forward step in our techniques to have less astigmatism thank you